uh, taking it back. <clears throat> hey, princess. Lighter, lighter flick. Yeah, you. Um, knew I would love you like a fat kid love food. Knew I was going you know like about this Wayne, bro. Knew I was Little Wayne. Look like a big fool. I must have had the flu. I thought the shit was Your generation won't understand. Nine. But never knew you would murder me. What did I do? Knew you was right for me. Knew I was right for you. Knew I would help you sell. Knew I would write for you. Knew I would keep you well. Knew I would fight for you. Knew I would pull out my heart and bring it right to you. Listen, Los Amigos Podcast, Puros Podcast on Bows, La Voz, La Voz, La Voz del Barrio, una vez más, trayendo un episodio que va a salir, se va a sacar chispitas, Marquitos, chispitas. You had my chain, you bared my name, then we had champagne. Shout out to Corona for sponsoring this podcast, Corona uh, Beverage, uh, Corona Extra, Find Your Beach. Yeah, shout out to you. <laughs> shout out to Ocean City, Maryland. <laughs> That's that's our beach. <laughs> Thirty has water, and you guys be fucking. Shout out to Crystal. Shout out to Crystal Beach. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> Snorkeling and shit. Some, some murky ass water. Yeah. Dominican and Puerto Ricans with the music on blast. Hey, don't forget the Mexicans. We shout, out, shout out to them. We ain't far away from them. Yeah. It's a mixture now. They just have better systems. I feel like you know. What I mean? Oh, because that dude. They all have ten kids. They have to fucking. They got more fucking uh, income tax than anybody else too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I see you guys flexing out there. Oh, it's one of those podcasts. Yeah. Oh, I feel it. I you know what I'm saying? It. I could have a badass system, too, if I had 10 kids and I live in a fucking... Listen, Los Amigos podcast. Thank you to the listeners, subscribers, likers, viewers, haters, uh, doubters. Uh, the people that put us thumbs down on the last episode. Uh, Fuck you. Yeah, people who uh, <laughs> spit on my tires when I have my car parked in the parking lot. Um, shout out to... Uh, Dude, we got gifts. People oh, gave us gifts. Speaking of. Look at this fucking pretty ass back, dude. Let's see this. Let's see oh, this. We got gifts. What, oh, we what, got gifts. We what, got gifts, man. What in the righteous. I wonder if these people want their bags back by us. Hello, pal, baby shower or pal, birthday party. I, I don't think so because it has our names on it. Del Nathan. What we got here, dog? Del Brendan. Yo, it actually says cheese man on it, bro. Damn. Tire oh, shop. Shit. This is hard. Damn. Okay. Right. Okay, right. dude. Be an. BNF Tire Shop, Yo, dude. Shout out, to, shout out to Elizabeth and her and her husband, shout BF out. Tire Shop. Wow, man, wow. now we're talking. I would take my hat off if I had shaved right now, so. I really hope my shirt's two X. I can't show that. I can't show that on camera. <laughs> Nardo, I got ca- Nardo a, cut his hair. Quedó bien trasquilado. I got an extra large. That means I have to go lose a couple couple pounds. I'm I'm <laughs> you know I'm, I'm, saying, I'm wearing this right. to go out. I'm wearing this to go out, man. I believe you, Jeezy. So this one this one has a card. I got a shirt too. Oh, you got a card? I got a card. Let's see what Damn. You you must be the guy from the podcast. The main the main guy from the podcast. Yeah, man. read the card. Wait out. We got show the car. We got a car with a, a champagne car. bottle. Shout out, to, shout out to VF. Get your by focus on. This ain't no Bucana's bottle. We we're, we're 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 a little high standards. So yeah. we got a that's fucking a Mer- That's a Merlot bottle. Oh, I thought a, it was a Moet bottle, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it is a Moet bottle. Oh. You're right. I want you to read it out loud, it's Marco. Imperial. I want you to read it out loud, Marco. Shout out to Los Amigos Podcast and One Crown Media. Congrats on your podcast. We wanted to thank you for the shout out. We really appreciate it. Thank you for being our customers. Keep up the episodes. VF Tire Shop, Francisco and Elizabeth Vasquez. Woo! Shout out to you guys. Shout out to them. So with the magic of, uh, uh, of One Crown Media... Uh, you know, we have Tire Shop, where to find them, how to locate them, how to go to it, where they are, what you can do, their services, something, you know. Yeah, so everybody, uh, winter's coming up, so mo- a lot of you guys need tires because yeah. you guys been uh, quemando la troca yeah. cut a little too much on the parking lot and las car meets and it's, everything, you yeah. know. We see those videos. Especially the girls that, uh, you know, never never check their hood uh, lights, you know what I mean? Yeah. Never <laughs> check their emergency <laughs> lights, never check their tire pressure. They're they don't oil. even know what's <laughs> under the hood, you know what I mean? Their, their car barely starts. Um, right now is the time for you to answer that text from that guy you're ignoring so that he can go out and buy you them, uh, winter tires. Yeah. Winter tires. So <laughs> BNF tire shop. Um, yeah. Like uh, one Carmita is going to yeah. do it somewhere out here. I mean, lo estás ignorando and you know, he's got money, but he's ugly. You know, um, you got some bald but ass he, tires, but he can afford, he can afford to change those bald ass tires that you have. So you never know. Hit, uh, hit him up, give him a chance. Um, what's one season? You know what I mean? What's one season of being out there guapangueando con el feo <laughs> so you can get those snow tires? Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit Man. me up, baby girl. I got you. So 
I tell you where man. to go. I'm not paying for them, but I tell you where to go. All right? <laughs> Yo, shout out for the merch, though. Yo, shout yeah, out shout for the out. merch. Much awesome love. merch. Like I said, check them out. VF Tire Shop there in Delaware. I believe that's their only location right now, but, you know, it's close to PA. Dude, it's close it, to Maryland. Let so. me tell you, every time I see their, their account. Um, it's busy. On like Instagram, it's like, I saw a fucking Maserati there the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see them trailers. But, but they hook it up for everyone. They have used tires. If you don't want to spend money on brand new tires, they have brand new tires. If you're feeling a little bougie, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> si quieren de las yeah, de Michelin. They got, they got Goodyear. Good. I, I, I say Michelin because that's the one I know from Mexico, you know. That Michelin. <laughs> that Michelin tire. Yeah, I mean, shout out to them, though. Yo, thank Yo. you a lot, man. We appreciate it, man. Thank and you so much. I appreciate all the people that, you know, fuck with us. And, uh, you know, we support you guys right back. And shout out to Elite Motor Works, too, my boy Los. Um, yep. That's actually Elizabeth's uh, brother, so. Um, <laughs> doing his thing. Doing his thing, man. He, he's my he's my mechanic go-to guy, yep. so, you know what I mean? Hit him up if you ever need some shit. Yeah, but we're <laughs> What we got on the menu today, man? It's it's Yo, Sunday. We got a lot of menu. I don't know if people feeling this. I don't know if people feel it on their skin. I don't know if you're still in bed hungover. I don't know if you still got those lagañas in tus ojos. No estás parado ni para un pinche café. Sal, ve la guagua, breathing some fresh air. There's a breeze, gentlemen. Today, it was There's a, a breeze yeah, yeah, in the air. It's fall. It's a beautiful day out there, It's man. about to be hoodie season. It's about to be football season. Football season. But it's still money season over here, man. I'm still Grace. putting in the 60 plus hours a week. You know what I mean? That's Great sweatpants season. Great oh, sweatpants yeah, season. Yeah, it's, a, it's dick print season. Yeah. <laughs> Great sweatpants with the white Air Force. And with the Timbs. With the dirty Timbs. With the dirty Timbs. Oh, yeah. I got them in my truck, actually. I got the dirty Timbs locked and loaded. Jeez, yeah, but let me tell y'all, today, I mean, you guys are going to see this episode later on in the week. If uh, maybe next Sunday, I don't even know when you're going to see this <laughs> thing. Like I'm saying. But anyways, <laughs> today, yeah. today's Sunday. What's today's date? Today's Sunday, August 30th. It feels like a spring day, but it's actually fall oh, now. Yeah. Is it fall now? It's a, pu- it's a, it's a, it's a pumpkin spice latte. Oh, yeah. I can smell the oh, pumpkin yeah, spice yeah. in the air. Yeah, yeah. That pumpkin yo, spice, that matcha tea yeah, latte. Nice chill in the air. Y'all wearing them leggings and them fucking Uggs. Oh, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Them yeah. Slugs. I think that comes a little later on, but I, I definitely seen them selfies with the blonde hair, yeah. the shades, and the spice. Spicy pumpkin latte on your hands. Yeah, yeah. From Starbucks with the new lids that they have. I've never been there. Um, I've, uh, I've been there two times in my whole one life. One pump of caramel um, almond milk, please. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, a, a, touch, a dash of cinnamon. Yo, they make that shit sophisticated <laughs> as fuck. Ten ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, yo, you paying ten, you paying ten ninety nine for a for a twelve ounce cup of pumpkin spice latte. Hey. They don't even spell your name right. Yeah. And maybe a fucking cookie or a brownie or whatever. Facts. The when you have that Nescafe oh, right oh, in your. Oh, Cabinet. Or you can go and get your puppy cup too. So you can be fancy. Your dog can be fancy too. Bougie dog, whatever. Mm-hmm. Sabiendo que al México les dan hasta frijoles de comer a los pinches perros, pero aquí. <laughs> aquí I mean, les dan papuchinos. Yeah, yeah, you know. El papuchino. You know. Shout out to um, Major League. In the building. Major League is in the building, man. Major One League. half of Major League at least. Shout out to the boy Lalo in the building, man, in the cut. Lalo. He's rocking his chains. He's rocking at least, I know, it's looking about six pounds of pure gold right now. Um, from what I can tell, <laughs> he got the hat. I mean, he got he got the hat. He got the shirt. Yeah, we didn't put him on the scale, but the shit looks shit looking heavy. Shit looking like <laughs> bananas chains. Yeah, I don't have any no more. You know what I'm saying they robbed me. Yeah, damn. <laughs> you got to change that. They got to rob me, man. You got to stop going to Delaware clubs. Yeah, I went to dude. Let me tell damn. you guys, I got I didn't get jumped up, but they robbed me, man. But fuck them, man. You know what I'm saying it's all right. <laughs> it happens. It happens, you know. Oh, did you? Were you at a visa this weekend, or were you just joking? Uh, no, I was not at a visa. Oh, okay. You, yeah, he sent <laughs> the chat. It, we're in a pandemic. I can't go to a visa yeah. or any of those clubs out there right now. I I, I would well, love to go out but, there. Though. But but how do you feel about people traveling? Yeah, bananas. Yeah, you. You don't want to be in a crowded pilot, but you would rather be in a crowded airport. For in people cr- who don't know, Milana's about to take a tropical vacation. In what crowded, you mean, tra- in a, crowded airport? There's no people traveling. Yo, That's why I'm traveling. In a crowded cheap. airplane where everybody's sneezing, coughing, shit. farting. Right, you guys just mad because you guys ain't going. Using the same bathroom. Babies crying. Babies crying. I, that's one thing I do hate about the fucking airports. Let me tell you, last you time hate I, babies? The oh, baby's crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baby's yeah, yeah. crying and you're traveling. I, I was I love babies, but I'm saying like yeah, babies that, crying in there. Like, that them. would be irritating. You know what I'm saying? Like especially that kid that doesn't shut up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like seven hours later. Banana, like, Fuck. Little banana. Yeah. I felt bad. I remember one time we were traveling to California and I think my little sister Jimena was real young and she was just crying the whole time. Oh, you feel bad and for then, the people behind. Johnny, you. have you ever had any experiences where the baby was crying? <laughs> Not. Mexico? I know you can't go to I know uh, you can't go to restaurants. Just last time? Oh yeah, who was it? 
Both of them were crying? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Johnny was trying to go to the bathroom, ask for soda, ask for everything. He it's, ended it's up. Very, it's very hard. And it's just like you just feel bad for other people, but like you can't really control yeah. it. It's like, what are you going to do? I, you know, put, I notice put a it, muzzle on them? I notice it more like when they go to like a first communion or when they're inside a church because the kid just echoes throughout the, the whole building. When the fuck is the last time you've you been went to church? church? Yeah, you read No man. comment. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I'll, pro- I'll probably catch on fire if I were to go in there now. <laughs> I, I was about to say, I haven't seen you in church since that picture you sent me of 19, I think it was like 1996. God yeah. Damn. Where was oh, you yeah, and your pops? Yeah, yeah. You cheese and your man. pops and cheese man. He's getting baptized. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let me tell you guys something, dude. I had This last time I went to Mexico, right, I was drunk as fuck and I think I was high as fuck coming back. And I sat next to this guy. He's like, dude, like, I know your dad. I'm like, On a plane? Yeah. I'm okay. like, what? You know my dad? So we, like, we talked for a Isn't little bit. Isn't it crazy how people can recognize you without even knowing your name? Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, like, I like I saw this guy in Mexico a couple of times, but I never said anything. And next thing you know, like, I'm sitting next to him in the plane. I'm like, dude, like, what the fuck? And then he's like, dude, I know your dad. And I'm like, oh, like, cool. Whatever. So we talked for a little bit. And I was just so tired because I was hungover and I was high as fuck in the plane. And I passed, <laughs> the, fuck, I passed the fuck out. But I woke up, like maybe like 30 minutes before the plane ended, and I was like, todo lleno de baba and shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, pues, estaba, uh, you mean, roncando, pues, como un pinche oso. I was like, damn, and I, and I, you, I probably, woke, you probably drew it on his shoulder. He didn't want to tell you nothing. <laughs> Yo, I literally woke up, and I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Perdóname, Don, si la verdad es que ronqué yeah. or, or whatever I did, because to be honest, I was out. I might have been farting. I don't know, bro. Like, yeah, I couldn't yeah. control it. Gross. I was in my sleep, man. Disgusting. You know what I'm it happens. It's part of nature. <laughs> you know? You know? You know? You know? Yeah. It is Damn. We forgot to get the other headphones for Johnny. That way he can listen in. Oh, yeah. He, that's why he knows when to bleep out, what to bleep out, and what <laughs> not to bleep out. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing to bleep Cut. out here. Yo, but actually, that's a good... That's a good um, you you should talk to the people at the, air, air, at the airport, the people who sit next to you. Or at least say hi. Yeah. I because you never know who sits next to you. And that brings me... Uh, one time I went to Miami, which is where you're going soon, I believe. Marco, don't. Oh, sorry, sorry. What sorry, if sorry. I get kidnapped out there, man, Let's or cut something, that out. dude? Nah, nah. So <laughs> <laughs> it's the guy from the podcast, and they just put a bag over. You his remember? Head. You remember this movie that came out about a dude that has like multiple personalities? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. What was that movie called? It was uh, Anacondas. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, it, I don't, I don't the know. dude from X Men was in it. Yeah, the bald dude from X Men. So I was uh, that guy who filmed it. The director has a mansion in Philly, like right on the suburbs of Philly. And I sat next to his parents. They were coming from like. Um, oh yeah really they were coming from like india but they were getting a connecting yeah, flight yeah. they were getting like a connecting flight in miami or something like that some crazy stuff and they're like oh do you know this movie first of all they didn't tell me that that was their their son filmed the movie they're just like oh do you know this movie like this isn't that it was like a recently new movie at the time i was like oh yeah i want to watch that man we just like sparked up like a random conversation they're like oh yeah like they were telling me about it they're like well we don't really like it but like we understand like what's going on they're like I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's not for everybody. Horror movies are not for everybody, but I fuck with them. I fuck with scary movies. They're like, oh, yeah, my son filmed it, by the way. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, I forget his name. I know, I know yeah. what you're talking about. I was like, oh, shit, your son filmed it? Dude, I actually have And I was trying to, you know, trying to be like, oh, yeah, well, you know, you know, let me get your business card. Let yeah. me get your son's business card. You know what I mean? He got a mansion. Look, I want to make a patio. Lawn. I can mow his lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, actually, oh, at the time, Greystone wasn't a thing, but they did that little flex. Yeah, my I, son filmed it. I actually had an experience like that when I used to work at a physical ther- uh, physical therapy in ATI. There was a guy was I was giving him like rehab and shit. Yeah. And um, his name was Tom. Um, and uh, Tom Brady. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck Tom Brady. Shit. So nah, uh, I fuck with Tom Brady. Yeah, he's a good I like him though. He's in the Tampa Bay Bucks, so they can beat us. But whatever. In the Super Bowl, you have to hate him though. Yeah, true. But anyways, so <laughs> I met this guy named Tom, right? And Tom, like, he's just doing his fucking uh, rehab. And I'm like, I get to know this guy. And later on in the week, he's like, hey, Jose, do you ever read the book uh, The Block Hawk Down? And I'm like, no. He's like. I saw the movie. I saw the movie. You I guys saw the movie. Well, he great wrote, movie, great movie. He wrote the book, and the people reached out what? to him. Oh, shit. Yeah, he man. wrote He wrote the book. Uh, he's he from here. He wrote Black Hawk Down? Yeah, he wrote Black Hawk Down. And then. Shout out Ethan Hawk. And then he, that, later on, they made the movie from from his book. And he's actually from here. You might see him uh, walking around on the uh, from what Nixon, I, from what yeah, I Nixon heard, Park, from the what Nixon I heard, Park. That, you might, you that, might that see movie's, yeah. that movie's based on real life. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you yeah. might see him um, at the at the Wendy's drive through. Yeah, the <laughs> beggar shop. You might see him dropping off something at UPS. You might see him shopping at TJ Maxx because uh, he, he's a Maxanista. 
No, actually, you if you if you see him, if you see how this guy dresses, you would never think like he's like he, he it's has It's always money. like that. Man. It's, it's always, always like, like that. that. He walks around and like, dude, I went like four years without seeing him. And actually, this year I was walking with my little brother in the park. He's like, "Are you Jose?" And I'm like, "Yeah." A lot of people don't know Jose is my name, <laughs> but my name is Jose Juan, Jose. aka Banana Clip, aka the King of Kenneth Square. <laughs> <laughs> Talk your shit, dog. Talk. Yo, shit. Talk it. You know what I'm saying? So, because you just you don't talk it, you walk it. I talk and walk it, and what's up? Yeah. Because you know how many Jose Juan. Yo, we got, should be country, married, Yeah, bro. we got way off track though. But what we were talking about is, all right, how do you feel about traveling right now during this? Do you think the pandemic's over? You think COVID doesn't exist? Dude, are I'm you scared to pro travel? Trump. Are you scared to travel? Are you one of those? I'm not wearing a mask because it's my right not to wear a mask, guys. <laughs> Low key, I'm scared to get sick. Sick though. I, this is crazy. <laughs> we probably already everyone in this room probably already had it. No. Nah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys something. It's, you like, got, it's like the flu, bro. We just, we just you, got that you crazy probably, ass immunity. Someone to said it. they had it and they went to go get tested and they never had it. Yeah, I guess. So like, just well, you, you get could, a little. You, sniffle. you could probably have it and not get tested for like a couple weeks and then you go get tested and then you don't have it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, how do you stop a flu? You can't stop it. It's gonna spread everywhere. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just how your immune system's gonna react to it in that certain time of exposure, I guess. But do you get a flu every year? Mm. No. No. I think so, I bro. Don't, I don't get it every year. Not the same time. Like, maybe sometimes I get in the winter. Maybe one year I get in the spring. I don't know. I don't know. I get sick, like, maybe once or twice Yeah, a year. Yeah, I think everybody gets sick at least two times a year. But I'm, what, saying, what? I'm saying the flu. You can get the cold, like, two times a year. Yeah, the flu is... I feel like, the, I feel like that's the same shit. Nah, yeah. Oh. The, flu, the flu is way, like... Way worse. I think... Dude, okay. Actually, I Listen, saw... Listen, with the flu or with the cold, I'm still going to work. Yeah, me I too. I don't know with the flu. But not not flu. right now because obviously the, the coronavirus. I don't know about the flu, boy. Throwing up chunks. Code, I believe you. Nah, nah. nah. Brennan, you probably went to work with a flu or something. I did. Yeah, exactly. Nah, I, did. I don't believe y'all. Nah, I, I don't believe I don't believe I, 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 I went to work and they les, were like. Les falta barrio, no, chico. Yeah. Les I, falta barrio. I went to work. I literally, I, I, y'all lying dude, to the I, camera right no, now. No, I swear. I swear. You're lying to the camera right now. Y'all lying to the camera. Y'all don't even remember last time you had the flu. I do. But I probably went to work. I probably went to work. I do remember. People. Yo, I've, <laughs> I've seen my workers who have been like, oh, it's que tengo la gripa, and they're, and they're still at work, nah, dog. No, they it's got, not, it's not a gripa. It's not a gripa. It's not a sniffle. That's literally the translation of flu, no, gripa. It's not. No, it's not. Cold, You're bro. just lazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> You're just fucking lazy, <laughs> man. <laughs> they got, they got the cold, bro. Yeah. Yo, Jeez, you're just lazy. Nah. you must work for a hangnail. Yo, look, look, man. I'm, I'm hungover. I can't go. Look, look, look at look at look at it like this, man. All right, a flu. A flu is something like you know what I mean that you're just sick to your core. You you're throwing up. You I can't. was about to say the only no, but you don't throw have to, it you up. Don't have to always throw up. I with have the never flu. throw up with the flu. I, I, I had I the have, cold I and have, the sweats. Yeah, I don't really throw up with the flu either. But I remember when you said you had the flu. You, you, you might throw you up out your ass. ass for like five days. What? What? Like two like years. Diarrhea. Ago. Nah, nigga. I'm talking. I don't about remember flu. I do remember one time. I, like damn, I lost mad weight, bro. I do remember. I think I yeah, do remember that time. Weed. I that's, went to I went to San Marcos. Shout out San Marcos. It shut down. It was bro. A, it was a Sunday. I was feeling kind of sick, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna still get fucking fucked up. It was me, Raf, and Silvestre, and there was a snowstorm that day, and I got fucked and up. Your immune system went down, and you got sick as shit. Yeah, I got sick as shit for like three, four days. After that, yeah. Shout out my baby girl. She picked me up from San Marcos. <laughs> shout her out, bro. Yeah. Shout name? out to you, Blanca. Oh. Blanca Nieves y los siete de nanitos. <laughs> no, yeah, but, but yeah, y'all just y'all just lazy, man. But y'all anyway, y'all, need to, y'all, go, y'all need to go work. Y'all, y'all need to go work liars. with the flu in order to get some hair on your chest. Y'all yeah. just fronting. Nah, right y'all just fronting. No, I have one, and what you sweat cool? it off. That's how you sweat it off. Facts. Y'all, y'all, yeah. y'all just Facts. y'all just lying out the, side, out the side of your beard. Y'all the people. Y'all the but people damn, that y'all bro. the people that say I get migraines. Yeah. Nah, that's a, I see, need a that's Tylenol. Thing. I need a Tylenol because I, I get migraines. I twisted migraines. my ankle. It's sprained. <laughs> but have you ever had a migraine? No. I don't believe people. They say they have migraines and they can't do shit when they have a migraine. I had it one time once. Man. How you have it once and then you never have it again? I don't know. I had it once though, but it felt like my, my skull was like breaking, bro. Shout out to you people that get migraines. I wasn't trying, <laughs> to, I wasn't trying to mad make fun of y'all, you know. For real, for real yeah. though. It's a lot of people that get migraines, Marco. All right, we're yeah. getting off topic. We're talking about, <laughs> does Banana feel safe traveling right now? He's yeah. traveling. Yeah, but it do you feel safe, bro. Like, what about you, he, viewers? Will you guys will you guys travel? Or you guys, are you, do you guys think it's safe to travel? Does, does COVID not exist anymore to you, Banana? I travel. I don't to me, fuck. I don't give a fuck about COVID-19 because a lot of those cases and deaths that are being reported as oh, COVID-19. Shit. so COVID can suck your dick. Yes. But for, they're for the heavier guys, listen, too, though. Listen, listen. 
COVID-19, everybody, everybody that dies right now, they go under COVID-19. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So their insurance gets money. So it's basically being a fraud. I saw like a statistics that only like 7,000 people died of COVID, COVID. Like all the other people that died of COVID. Other complications. There were other complications. But that they, they had, had COVID. Where, yeah, but they had COVID. Where was the source? It was, I, dude, it's literally on the internet. I think, yeah, it's, I think it's more than 7,000. What's, what's, what's you, you got to show me the source though, man. No, it's Any, a good source. Anything can be on the internet. It's like, it's like the hell thing. Jeez, like, oh, no, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're yeah. saying. I know what you're saying. But that's what that's why COVID is a killer because yeah. it makes other complications deadly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm you not, but I mean? I'm saying, like, I feel say, like. Say you have diabetes or. Uh, I feel like I'm off. Liver or something's wrong with your liver. It'll, you had at least 20 years and, left and you died. Uh, like yeah, and now you die now because COVID fucked you up. Yeah. I feel like I'm a healthy fat nigga. You know what I'm saying? Fat guy. Yeah, Sorry. So, so to my knowledge, so to my knowledge, <laughs> COVID, COVID makes that other thing like worse. And then your own body is like killing your own body because it sends out all the white blood cells and antibodies and just starts to kill your shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. My boy. It's beer time over here. You know what I'm saying? Boy. Yeah. This dude whistled at you crazy. That was crazy. Giant in the, the, the disrespect. Desert, you, you, guys you guys can't whistle. That's a problem. Yo, I, I, can, can, I, can, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm not going to lie. All right. But you're, th- this is banana avoiding the question. So okay. you think COVID does not exist? You're, you're willing to travel? Yo, you're no, willing to no, travel? No. COVID place? exists. Is it going to stop me from going to wherever it, it, I want to go? It's definitely not. I it mean, doesn't, it doesn't do, affect you, right? Do you, no. to, do you have to self-quarantine for two weeks when you come back? Like, does your job no, because you? I'm not leaving the United States. Mm. If you leave the, it's like but you're going to a state but, of high COVID. Yeah, yeah. But, you're going to Miami. Because my sister was going to Tennessee, but uh, her job, she's, in, she's, she's a nurse. So you're she telling me... Has, she has to take two weeks off from her paid time to if she wanted to go to Tennessee and come back. Well, that's, that, that's her. I ain't even going to tell my job I'm going to fucking Miami. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to Miami yeah. with the risk. If I get COVID, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But wow. I don't think I'm going to get think, it. You don't think that's a little selfish? That's a little selfish. No, I'm going to You know, exposing, I mean, your, exposing your parents. Whole generation. Exposing your parents. That's his whole generation. We're selfish. Bro, my parents are healthier than a rock. Now. Now, but they can get it in the stamp of a finger and everything goes down Dude, to shit. Nah, our, but, you know, our just, parents go to work, I was, work, just, I was just asking Banana, you know what I mean? I just, I yeah, just yeah, wanted yeah. to see how he felt, you know. What I'm, you? I'm ready to go see them IG models in Miami Beach, see oh, them las, silicons they, they, bounce they, around las, and shit. Las operadas. Las operadas, take strippers? a selfie, yeah. you see them escorts out there, see oh, what's up man. out there, you know what I'm saying? Escorts. What's an escort? <laughs> in, in strippers? What's an escort? I heard strippers are really expensive out there. By, by escort, what do you mean? Some prostitutes. Walking around. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Banana, you're traveling with a group. You're traveling by yourself. You're, you're meeting a lucky lady down there. Both. You're just going with friends to have fun. What, what's I'm going to go that? with friends to have fun, but I'm I'm, I'm looking out for a like, little Colombiana, una yeah, Cubana, yeah, yeah, yeah. something out there. there you I, know what I have a question, Banana. Why is it you, you have a group, Valdez Madre, you have a group to travel with, you have a group... To this and that. La but you never invite us, bro. And he has a group to smoke. And he has a, he, he has it's because look. And when I say us, I mean the group chat. You know what group chat yeah. I'm talking about. Okay, I got different types of people because some people are not into whatever the other people is into. One people is like into violence and shit, and then other people are not into that. Some people are into making carnitas asadas and throwing out bread, and the other ones are not. Yeah, the then other you have ones a fit, are just fitness. Too, yeah, the other ones are into fitness. So that's why I have multiple personalities. And you're like a <laughs> Jesus. And you're like an onion. You have layers. I, I got <laughs> layers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? I Bananas got- and onion, he has layers, so he, he, he dabbles in everything. He likes fitness, he likes sports, he likes traveling, he likes bite lists. I like you everything, I mean? dude. I like you have to live life. Yeah, dude. There's Please. a lot of people that don't want to spend money on throwing a carnita asada. So guess what? I'm not. I'm not spending yeah. with you my yeah, carnita asada. Yeah, shout out. Uh, uh, un un shout out a los que traen hielo y dicen con eso con eso tienen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, traen, no traen ni carne ni charcoal ni cerveza. Traen el hielo. El hielo. That's it. De cinco baros y piensa que con eso ya lo hicieron. So then, then the people I have got it from friends like, how come you didn't invite us to Miami? Because I I'm, I don't think you want to spend the money to go to Miami. So why the fuck would I bother fucking inviting you to go? to a place that you're going to spend money. Mm. Shout Does that Ke- make sense? Shout out to Kevin. If you didn't hear it, now you heard it. <laughs> no, Kevin likes to spend money. I actually would like to go with him. Yeah, he's we should a, go. We should, get, we, should a, we should get a group chat trip. Kevin's not going, bro. Yeah, I think Kevin's going. But I think Kevin will go, too. He see, Cheesy is against coronavirus. So if I told Cheesy, let's go, to, let's go to Miami, he's like, no, I'm not going. So why would I bother his Cheesy? He's a responsible worker. He's not going to miss work to go spend I'm not gonna. Know, I'm to not go gonna diddle daddle in Miami. He's I'm high not, ranking, hey, bro. They'll lose. They'll I, lose mad money. They'll lose customers yeah. by the second. Yo, hey, man, I, I'm that, not. That company will fucking tank, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Like, he can't afford. 
afford to miss Talk a day. Talk your shit. Arriba los listerines. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste, I, I'm not gonna waste any days of work because my job I gave us all Friday and Monday, so I'm leaving Friday morning and coming for, uh, uh, Monday night, and I'm gonna work on Tuesday. What's up? Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Sleep for four days. You, so five you're days. going for Memorial Weekend? Yes, okay, I'm gonna do you. a lot of cocaine and a lot of stupid shit out there. What's whoa, up? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Some of that good stuff. <laughs> God damn, that whoa, shit got buddy. rated R real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. I get drug tested, so I can't do no drugs. Yo, yeah, there we go. There we go. There clean, we go. It up, clean it up. Clean it up. There's a real side clean story. Clean it up. Yo, clean it up. Yo, I can see it though. I can clean it up. I can see a banana like uh, like Miami Vice retro. Oh yeah, it's Labor Day, Labor Day, Labor Day. It's Labor Day. Is it Labor Day or someone? Yeah. Someone earlier said Memorial Day. That's what I said. Memorial. Day. Was it Memorial it's Day? Labor in Day. June? No, that's like in June, bro. <laughs> it's Labor Day. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> you were right. So yeah, I feel, Labor Day. What is Labor Day again? Uh, it's people that work hard like us. Work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not, not people who miss work because they have the flu. <laughs> yeah, people that work hard. <laughs> yeah. It's it's for it's for all workers. It's just like a day no one works because it's, it's like Labor a day, day for like the U.S. to appreciate everyone that works pretty much. Yeah. So if you're laid off, don't celebrate. Hey. <laughs> go out there and <laughs> go out there and cut your grass. You know what I'm saying? Your neighbor's grass, and then you can celebrate after yeah, doing that. So you sure. your little little labor work, you know. For sure. Yo. So uh, I mean, I feel safe, Marco. Yeah. If, if my question was, I feel safe. You think I'm gonna get tested in this? I mean, I think I got already got the flu. Uh, am I scared? No. I haven't been able to smell some stuff like in four months or why I don't know. Dude, I'm fine. I'm healthy. I feel yeah. great. I'm gonna put this hat here for promo since I got a new hat. Thanks out to VF uh tire shop, by the way. So. I just got a message. He said, Banana, if you want to be a promoter for Ibiza, asking for a friend. Korean. Who said that? Free entry for your promotion. Hit my line. Kilo Kev. Ten. They want me to be a promoter? What's oh, up? They're looking for promoters. <laughs> I'm a, I'm gonna be the next promoter for Ibiza. What's up? So shout out to Ibiza. Thank you so oh, much so for you're, letters. You're accepting the offer without knowing how much they're going to pay you? I don't need to get paid. As long as I get to the Valley free and I get free beer, what's up? Yeah, oh, man, free. you're not using your leverage. I don't need leverage. I make my own money on my own time. Ah, oh, tell them. This is a, this, you're doing them a charity. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing them a favor. They're not doing you a favor. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, you, know, you, know, you, know. you know, you know, you know, you <laughs> know. Oh, no, no, shout out to Evisa for letting us record uh, yeah, uh, one of our Evisa. episodes out there. You yeah. know I mean, Evisa is one of the hottest clubs out there. If you go in there, the lights are magnificent. They're bringing some of the hottest bands out there. I know it's COVID nineteen season, COVID uh, COVID twenty season. Yeah. Huh. You can, COVID twenty. You yeah. can you can see the found, COVID nineteen two thousand twenty. You can see the found. Oh, you can see the foundation bouncing off oh, of the ladies shit. with the lighting in there. You know COVID what I mean? Twenty. Foundation. I thought you said your booty's bouncing off. But. <laughs> no, but anyway, shout out to Ibiza, man. They let us and record one of our the episode place. there. And um, I mean, I think one of the their their, their setup is nice. You know what I'm saying? I I, I don't want to take away from the other clubs. Everybody, Pato Sal del Sol. Everybody can do whatever the fuck fo they show, want. Fo show, fo you know what I'm show. saying? We Los Amigos podcast. A lot of people don't like us. A lot of a lot of people like us. Yeah, a lot of people don't like us. But guess what? That ain't gonna stop me from recording every Sunday. What's up? It's cool. Yeah, I, I mean, we do this for fun. We don't do this for yeah. Right. yeah. It's cool. I, I I work already. My Monday to Friday. Yeah, we'll we'll get our I work views. Monday to Saturday. We'll get our ten views. It's cool. Yeah, I'm cool with ten views. My mom watches, so not, <laughs> oh, we got nine yeah. nine I, nine organic views. Our mom thinks we're doing good waking yeah, up on a like, Sunday morning. Yeah, if my mom likes here. it, then y'all should fucking it's all like good. it. Yo, but have you guys been betting? Betting, yes, dude. Nah, I've been doing I horrible. I stopped betting. I stopped betting. I'm done dude, betting. For I can't people hit, who don't bro. know, uh, we do a lot of sports betting. A lot. A lot of sports betting. Just wasted. Um, but nah, um, I I usually put in like two, three hundred bucks, and then if I lose it, I'm done for the year because <laughs> I'm not gonna waste my money. But you lost those. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. we. <laughs> yo, I was up fourteen hundred though. I was up fourteen hundred off those. a twenty dollar bet, and I could. You know, you know what you do. You, you get greedy. Yeah, you think you're gonna you turn pull out. You think you're gonna turn twenty to a thousand, <laughs> and then you think you're gonna turn a thousand to like fifty thousand, and then you just start losing. Yeah, for for those of you guys know, we are um, we all fan, fan duel VIPs. It's not only fans; <laughs> it's fan duel. Okay, yeah, we all have our fan duel uh, apps addicts. out here. We addicts yeah, not to only fans, gambling. Fan duel. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So um yeah, we're we're big in sports betting lately. Um I was up a good chunk of money but lately i've been losing i've been having yeah. to put out my money and since football season starts in two weeks i had to put another hundred dollars in today hopefully one of those baseball bets hits today so i can go up a little Yo, with my I money hate betting on baseball bro that shit goes it's too it's too crazy it doesn't it's not consistent for me well i, I like i like it because I, I i always bet on the 
on the under or over runs between the teams. So I always go for if I see like somebody's over eleven runs, I always go for the under because it's a it's, it takes a lot to score eleven runs yeah, in the professional yeah, 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 ba- baseball yeah, yeah. league. You know. Yeah, I'm I'm surprised you even bet on baseball, but baseball is very hard That's for me. That's what I'm saying. Play. Baseball you guys like, don't know about baseball. I, I always mean? do. You guys never play baseball. You, yeah, uh, you know what I used to bet on all the time? Hockey because the the um the goal the, spread the the spread is always one goal. Yeah, it's always like one, plus one or minus one. Yeah. So if if you know that the Penguins are like a beast team and they're gonna go against you know something, it's always like plus one goal. Yeah, but hockey's hockey's tough too because they're it's kind of low. Sc- it's like soccer. I be, I be betting on uh, what WNBA and Mark was like, "Yo, what the fuck is yeah, this?" Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, "Who's the Sacramento Lightning?" Who's like, the? I need, like, I was like, "What?" I was like, "I need games to bet on, bro. I'm betting for on sure, anything right for now." For sure, bro. I even I even thought about Russian uh, tennis. Yo, of, I saw that. There's I a lot of Russian too. tennis on there. I, and the, my, my worst bet was I, I bet in a golf match. I didn't even know who it was, <laughs> but it was like plus twelve hundred. So <laughs> I bet ten dollars. <laughs> I lost. Yo, um, I'm gonna wrap up that betting segment just because a lot of the girl viewers are probably gonna be like, we don't fucking care about betting. <laughs> but they probably uh, want you to bet for them. Yo, Hardy Bales are back. Hardy, yo. Hardy Bells are back. If you if you didn't know, there's Hardy uh, Bells. You know they open back up in Bridgeville, Delaware, New Jersey, wherever the fuck. Like it is. three hours away from here, but um, dude, I heard it was packed. I heard there was a lot of women out there. I heard a lot of my friends went, which they're guys, so it was a lot of a lot of people out there. I guess <laughs> a lot of borrachos, borrachas. Shout out to all those girls that I saw on Snapchat, Instagram. You guys made my day because I didn't go. Yeah, with your wapango outfits. Yeah, um, those, I, let I me honestly, tell you though, those honestly, jeans, those jeans are ugly as fuck. The boot cuts. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys see on those the jeans. The parachute yo. jeans. God yeah, damn! Yeah. You should go to American Eagle for a better fucking pair of jeans. Those boots. Oh, oh God. <laughs> And you know what's crazy? My girl was just uh, we did a looking at them. You better stop for that. No, not the jeans. Yesterday we were watching the Lakers game, and um, I hate I hate LeBron James. So I was like, Yo, if if Portland wins, because at a certain point they were like pretty even. I think it was uh, Melo. Sixteen. Melo's about to get like a new seven, country. It was like seventy-five to seventy-five. Yo, Melo was going off, bro. And um, she was like, Oh, if the Lakers win, you buy me something. If the Portland, if Portland wins, I'll buy you something. And I was like, All right. How do you take that bet if Lillard is not playing? Because, they, uh, bro, I just hate LeBron, bro. I'll, I'll Damn, take that bet. Bro. What? And I don't care. It's my girl. You know what I mean? If, if I'm so not, you're still going to buy her something. Yeah, exactly. A Gucci at, bag. At a Gucci end, bag. I got it. Day, I get it. So Gucci now, box. so now I, I at least get a chance to, for me to get something. You know what I mean? Hey. So for me to win. I'm not going to say what Mark is going to get, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we picked our, what we wanted, uh, before, but she, she said she wanted one of those, uh, the the cowboy girl boots with the that are square. No, I like those. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this: Would you rather your girl wear her pants inside the boot or outside the boot? I would like my girl to wear the the pant inside the boot. They look sexier like that. I don't I don't even know what that looks like. Yeah. Both I'm both of them. To, I'm, I'm trying, trying to picture that. that. Yeah. Well, let me tell you, dude. When girls put the boots right, I mean the boots are cute, whatever. And then they yo, you also saw the video I put on Los Amigos, right, where the guy's like wapangoing and he's like. You know, he's doing yeah, like yeah, that yeah, shit yeah, with his feet, yo. Those are yo, the guys from Texas. Because Texas is going crazy with that shit, bro. They got the they got the mullets. They got the, yeah, they're bringing it back, right? Yeah, they, they're just looking down and going like this. I'm fucking weirdos. And, and thinking that's dancing. It's like know, a, it's, it's like it's like what well, and break dance at once, you know? Yeah, that's I don't, what I don't understand it. I know Lalo don't understand it. You know what I mean? He he will never be doing something no, like that. To be honest, girls. To be honest, I love your outfits. You got Carita outfits. They look great. I'm just I'm just joking about the jeans. You guys do whatever the fuck nah, you guys are doing. He was, he was, nah, he was dead serious. serious. He's not joking. He was yeah, dead I'm not joking. Yeah. I'm dead serious. They're fucking ugly. But anyways, whenever you guys put those jeans on, put put them inside the boots because yeah. it makes your legs go look a little nicer. Your butt looks a little nicer. So yeah. let me ask you. So let me ask you. Do you think people are keeping their six feet at uh, Hardy Bells? Hell no. Oh hell no. I don't even keep, we're not keeping it right now. What's up? You're like two <laughs> inches away from me. <laughs> I know. That's because we got a small space to work here. It's all right. Man. Don't worry. I don't, I don't think you're contagious. We only got one 4K camera. <laughs> now we've been filming, you know, on iPhones and shit. It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Shout out to, no, but I heard that Haripe was badass. I think I would have went if it would have been on a Saturday and then on a Sunday. Cause yeah. I, I wake up really, whack. I wake up really early to go to work on Monday and I don't Man. like to look like a bitch at work. So I get my fully eight hours of sleep to look like a monster out there. You know what I'm saying? I can't look like a bitch in a construction job. You know what I'm saying? That's for like people yeah, that. Cause trust me, if you look like a bitch, they're talking about you. Oh yeah. They're if you like, can't Yo. handle wheelbarrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
They're like, they're like, yo, he go can't on. hammer something down. Or he <laughs> can't tie steel right. Yo, they're, they're like, yo, Get the yo, hell uh, out of go, here. go take your lunch over there. Yeah, <laughs> that's cheesy. That's cheesy. I, I took him once with me. I told. Oh, you couldn't handle the wheelbarrow. No, I told cheesy, cheesy, stop drinking. Don't smoke out there. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, that day. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that. Day. <laughs> he was feeling sorry. He's like, how can you do this, Juanito? I'm like, what do you, what you mean? mean? I have to do you it, boy. Get, you got to get Pala ready. Yo, you know yo, man. I was motherfucking crudo as a motherfucker. And, and, and Jizzy would tell you. He, he admitted it. He's like, dude, I will never do that again if I go to work with you. Because he's not saying that I'm a monster, but I don't. I just don't like to look like a bitch out there. And Jizzy nah, would back me up for that one. Yeah, it's 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 more like hands-on, heavy lifting shit. And you know what I mean? And that that nigga over there looks like Bowflex, so you know what I mean? <laughs> he's he's grabbing the the buckets of dirt and shit. You know what I mean left and right? And man, look at his fucking anchor arms, bro. You che- know what I mean? Cheesy's like my wrist. Nah. <laughs> It Word. wasn't even. It wasn't even like that, Marco. It was just like you know what I mean. I was just. I was not up to par. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. I feel you. I was like, Cheesy, you want to do this ins- or you want to do that? He's insert like, none. Like, insert like, Cheesy's like, picture of him at the gym. It's snap <laughs> right here. <laughs> che- bring, Cheesy was like, bring your I'm dad out. To the gym <laughs> and then we go. And then we go to. And then we go to. Uh, we go to lunch. I'm like, Jizzy, make sure you eat something like ligerito. This, my nigga goes. Yo, what, what, when was this? What does he get? What does he get? He got I, I, three slices of Grotto's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Greasy as fuck. <laughs> Greasy as fuck. I'm like, he's Jizzy. Gonna be, he's going to be burping that up all day. Bro, oh bro, bro, that's the best part, man. Well, yeah. It was, but not, I feel like if I eat three slices of pizza in lunchtime, I'm done for the day, bro. Nah, down, I bro. eat a lot. I'm not going to lie. I eat a lot for lunch. Three slices of pizza? Though, but you, you're a balls, dog. Like, it's not like... Nah, but still. You, <laughs> He's like, you your, workers are, your, what to do. your workers are not going to work if the boss is just sitting down doing nothing. Bro. I remember when we were like 16, 17 years old. Me and Nardo used to work for um, doing like mulch and shit. And we used to smoke weed and shit. And I'm like, <laughs> once we smoked weed, it was over. Like, I ain't doing shit for the rest of the day, man. We go, we go hide. Yeah, we were just like, fuck this, Nardo. So they were like, <laughs> like, and like let's, let's go chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were like, let's go chill. Nah, but for me, bro, for me, when I'm at the like at work and shit, you know what I mean? I, if I take a small puff or something like that, it it, it doesn't get me lazy. It actually it actually motivates me and yeah. it gets me nah, more focused. But that don't that don't that only works it puts because me on my ass, that only bro. works because at your job. It, it's a lot different than me and Banana's job because you don't have to measure nothing. You don't have to make sure the calculations of something are right. So, oh yeah, if yeah. you're like if you're like days or if you're high, you're gonna fuck some shit up. Yeah, like you're bro, gonna fuck you some shit up. Yo, yeah, yo yeah, Marco, you know I mean? there there is there is measuring, bro. You got to look at the grass and, the, and <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta, you, you gotta see what kind of make fucking sure you have to make sure you actually uh, you turn the navajas on when you're mowing. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and you're not just nah, riding. The, you're not nah. just riding the mower back and forth. Nah, man, it ain't. It ain't as simple as you you think, bro. Uh, you got to look. You got to go to each to each um, person's backyard, right? And wh- however the however the fuck they want. What, what is he measuring con el metro? No, no. The weeds. No, oh, gotcha. no. However, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. However the fucking grass is, there's some motherfuckers that want it that want it lower than other people. No, I believe you, uh, Chisi. I'm gonna tell you something, Chisi. If you go somewhere to somebody's fucking house, bro, and the grass is this big. And you have it at this measurement, and está sacando un chingo de pasto. You you're making balls, bro. You make their yard look like shit. You tell them, tell them. Cheese man, I gotta ask you a question. Can you read a tape measure? Yeah, man, I'm not that stupid. What, dog. Are, the, what are the little lines? After zero, what's the little the lines? Line? The, the ones I took yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Cheesy, cheesy. I'm gonna tell you what though. I have never, I have never, I have. Yo, I, I tell what you what the though. Fuck. I have never, I have never cut grass in my life, and I see you guys when you guys cut grass and do the lines, and that's some type of art, cause now nobody can do oh, that yeah, shit, yeah, dude. Yeah, I yeah, tell yeah. you that. A lot dude. of people go. And that's what I'm saying. No, not nobody just wants you to go do loop de loops and cut people's grass. Nah, they nah, want straight. But no, 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 no. I wasn't saying that. I was just saying it's you. You're able to function. Take a little puff, you'll be good. But what if you take a little puff and you and you're measuring cuts, or you're measuring height of cement, or you're measuring? Oh, you gonna fuck shit you're up? You gonna fuck I, shit up? I, I remember there was this one time me and Banana were working right, and we took a hit right. This was early in the morning, bro. This is like before lunchtime, and we didn't do shit, bro. 
They go, the boss comes <laughs> back. We started hiding. We're just like, damn, we didn't do shit. We started, we started to work faster, bro. We didn't do shit. That's why yeah. I don't do it, bro. That's why they I can't. They, they fire our asses. <laughs> you know, Mar- they were not trying to pay Yo, us. Mar- Marty told me the funny story about banana. And don't think banana doesn't work. Banana, yeah, banana, banana is a work, fucking bro. workhorse, it's a bro. It's a workhorse, bro. Motherfucking good. Because a mule. The Amish whatever, you, whatever you put him to do, he'll do it and he'll do it fast. But there was this time that Martin told me that uh, he was like, "Yeah, I took banana one time to uh, we were gonna do a mulch job and to, and to take out weeds, mm-hmm. and banana laid on the ground with, <laughs> with, with his hand on his head like this <coughs> and looking at the sky, and he was <laughs> taking weeds out like this, <laughs> lay, laid out on the ground, <laughs> like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro. Uh, it, if there is one thing that I have always hated when I used to do like landscape company it's weeds, it's weeds. it was weeds, weeds bro yeah. I, I'd rather and Marco seen me like me too I'd rather pick up bricks and just uh, take them from one place to another place or, I, or shoveling I hate yeah I, hate I remember when I went with Marco to work that one day and there was like there was like two older guys and they're like just looking at me how the fuck I was like grabbing the, the wheelbarrow remember Marco and then Marco Who, paid with uh, Chaleo and Rafa no maybe? it was uh, Rodo remember? oh pobrecito <laughs> and Rodo was just looking at me yeah, he's like yeah. what the fuck <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Rolo. Rolo's a great guy, man. He's just he's just older now. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, but he's a hard worker. I'm just oh, saying, yeah. like, I remember that day. I'm like, dude, I'd rather unload the whole fucking truck. Take of, it a one trip, you know? Yeah, I mean? of mulch. Oh, I never talking about you. We were at uh, Christina's crib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that? And I was like, fucking just going at it. And they're like, yeah. dude, like, what the oh, fuck? She's got a crib. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out to Supercuts. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Supercuts. <laughs> Paying so, the bills. Yeah, so actually, we're going to change the subject real quick. Um, one of my boys, right? He, right? This is the last subject of, of the podcast, so make it a good one. No, we got like, Now you're getting kicked out. Like, now like, you're getting kicked out. We need the, the other member to come in and take his spot, please. We need like five more subjects. <laughs> nah, no, actually, I, I guess my boy my boy has been going to the violence lately, right? Mm. And he dresses up like a cowboy and everything. Oh, shit, like a cowboy? Yeah, like a cowboy. How many, how many buttons does he get on, on buttons? This tail ain't big enough. I'm pretty sure his... Does he, does he show off a lot of chest hair? Yeah, his chest hair oh, is popping his out. his chest hair is Some popping out. Hair. El baila el caballo, baila el caballo ahí en... Yo, yo. I wonder how girls feel like when they have a pegadita and the guy has all his chest hair out. Some so girls like so that. just like cheek, cheek to chest hair, dog. Yo, yo, some motherfuckers... You know what I'm talking about? Like, because one of their shorts, so their just face is just resting on a dude's chest hair, bro. That's nasty as fuck. So yeah. girls like that, though. Sweaty as hell. Yo, Marco, some of these motherfuckers, uh. bro, could actually braid that shit, bro. <laughs> Cheesy, you got chest hair? Yeah, but not not like a Jerry let me, curl. Let me see it, Cheesy. But no, not, not a little bit. Let me see it, Cheesy. Not like a Jerry curl, but it's <laughs> 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 That's like a rug, <laughs> cool. I got no chest hair, bro. You're like, oh, I got more beer chest than anything. No, I, got a, I don't want to stretch out my shirt, though. Yeah, I don't want to stretch out my shirt. <laughs> it's all right. Me and Cheesy chat. No, but anyways, my boy be going out to Wireless, and he feels like he goes out to this girl. like Daddy Yankee out there? Yeah, <laughs> more than Daddy Yankee. He feels like um, El Chapo, El like Chapo. Daddy he Yanker. feels like Valentin Elizalde. Um, el, ga- el Gallo de Oro. Oh, sí. Sí. Yep. Y va con su tejana y everything, right? So he goes like up. Yo, and, they, and then they, 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 they just put in it or like all the way down. That's what I was just saying, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> con, la, con la villa, puedes acá chingona, right? Y yo, y, y yo entrando con unos Timberlands. Yeah, yeah, yo. And people look, I remember I took Timberlands one time to a bike. People were staring at me nonstop. Bro. Bro. Let me yeah. tell you where they would judge you. If you go to Mexico, bro, and you go, you know, like, nosotros los, los que vamos de aquí para allá, bro, sometimes we don't have everything, like, botines and botas. We just take, like, one or two pairs of shoes. Yeah. So, basically, fucking, I remember one time I went, like, with my Air Forces. Oh, they were destroyed by the end of the night. Che- but not the A1s. No, the A1s are classic. But people were, the G-Face The people were looking at me funny because everybody has little botines, even though they're not brand new because, I mean, they don't expect you to have brand new in the dirt. Yeah. But they, they, pero they, they, pero le echan brillo and they have their destination shoe for each thing. Yeah, I remember I made, I got made fun of the first time after that. I had to buy myself a pair of botines. <laughs> I look yeah. like I don't know how what the fuck I look Yo, like, but yeah, pe- people's haircuts in Mexico remind me of white boys here. They just have like longer hair, 
You know what I mean? It's just like the mullet. They don't really get the fades that much. You know what I mean? That's because they were not good barbers. But now, now they're nah, bar- the barber. Now they're getting into it. The but barbers are getting into it. Back then, they got like lo- longer hair. You know what I mean? They just be like, yeah. primo, peleme rapa. New style, yeah. bro. But anyways, yeah. what we get into is oh, my boy, my yeah, boy, boy be, el gallo de oro. El gallo de oro be going to ask the girls for like, yeah, vamos a bailar, chiquitita. And, and they the, say no. And the girl be saying no. Estoy bien oh. cansada. They be saying no, nah, so nah, 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 nah. I, I want to ask uh, you girls, what do you guys look at a guy yeah, Johnny, when... Johnny, can you give me a beer, please? I, 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 I think I'm going to need to drink for this topic. Que, que te... There's some upstairs. There's no, oh, Yo, there's Juanito, not... they be like, estoy, oh, shit, we estoy we bien out. cansada. No, literally, my boy feels bad because he goes <laughs> to the baile and he has to, <laughs> on the on top, he goes and asks these this, this people to, to dance <laughs> and they, they're like, no, we, we can't. Oh, we shit, can't. y'all giving me dogfish? No, I'm not. Oh, let me get one of them. Let me get one of them. Y'all can drink that. But yeah, anyways, he, he's he's getting the no left and right, and he's not. Thank you, Johnny. A, he's not a bad looking guy. He's just like he's just getting the no. So I want to ask these girls, what do you guys look when you guys go to a baile on a guy to dance with you? Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, bro. Um, damn, I don't know, bro. I I do get. I I used to get told no a lot. I got told like two times, but then after that, I was like, "Fuck you, bitch!" I ain't yeah. Gonna ask you again. Oh yeah. I'm not, if a girl tells me no one time, I'm not going I'm not back. back. No, yeah, I'm yeah, not going yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, who the fuck so, do you think girl, you are? If you think a guy's cute and you're like, "Oh, maybe next dance," he's not coming back next dance. If Unless he's, he's thirsty. If he's a real G, if he's a real G, he ain't never coming back. He's yeah. never even gonna talk to you ever again. Yeah. If he's like, que, pues, that's yeah. ways que no se dan por vencidos, he might. But. Yeah. Nah, there's there's stuff like that, man. That you take you take you take it with you, man. Like y- next time you be at the that same violin, you're like, oh, I thought I I thought esa, I thought esa vieja, uh, you know what I mean? Just like you know what I mean, chilling there. Like I ain't even gonna look her way this time, man. Yeah, and we're not talking about someone you already know. We're talking about a random ass stranger. Stranger, like, take, stranger. Some, take some balls to go out there and be like, yo, you want yeah. you want to dance? Shorty, what's up? Last time I did that, the girl danced with me though. Sometime. I mean, your banana clip from Los Amigos podcast, bro. What do you expect, right? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck's he thinking? You say, yo estoy gordito, fellito, but my confidence is 100. You know, what you want to do is you want, you, first of all, you got to go fly. You can't be on some bum shit. You know what I mean? You got to go a little, not, you have to go the flyest. But, but you got to be like, just, you know, just you got to be, you got to be feeling good, right? Feel good. So nice what you, haircut. What you want to do, what you want to do is you want to walk by near where she's at and make sure that she sees you. Make eye contact. contact. Yeah. Make eye contact sure is key. Make sure she sees you, right? Make sure she sees you. Maybe you go for a beer. Maybe you go to the bathroom, come back. But, you know, you definitely, I don't know what the fuck Nardo's doing. But yeah, I hear what are you doing, bro? Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, 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 bro, we're trying to be professional here. My and shit. bad, bro. So yeah, you definitely want to, you know, walk. I'm letting you walk, t- walk. You give know what I mean? Give the style tips, bro. Walk, walk. Maybe you know what I mean. Make that eye contact. Make sure she sees you. Make sure and make sure she doesn't just see you and look away. Make sure she's like, oh, who, that who, double take. Who's that? Who's that? The Is double, that a new guy? That? He's got style. Damn. Are those crocodiles? <laughs> 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 Is that ostrich skin? <laughs> Is that motherfucking ostrich skin? <laughs> is that crocodile on his feet? Damn. 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 You know what I mean? This guy, this guy is balling. Yeah, yeah. So is that crocodile? a crocodile? Yeah, I think I saw three inches on his beard. You know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, so after that, you know, you seen you that you made contact. Maybe you see her dance with one guy. And when she's dancing with that guy, you make eye contact with yeah. her again. And you see her, and you see And her. that's when you know, oh, next song you're mine, shorty. So just, <laughs> uh, so just you know what I mean? Just just hold on to that to that lame ass dude you with right now because next song, you're right here. You're right <laughs> Yo, here. My- you make eye contact when she's dancing with that dude. And you have to make sure that she doesn't like dancing with that dude. Yeah. You're like, oh fuck, why the fuck did I do this? Yo, so Mar- you just give her a little, you know. Yo, Marco, and, and, and as soon as she goes and she she sits down, that's when you're like, oh. No, that's when you get a little my, closer. My, you get a little closer, this is, right? This is my chance. And then they put on that song that you like. They say that you know maybe they play uh Vete ya. You know what it was conmigo. And you know you grab her and so it's, it's a it's a slow song, but it's not too slow. It's not too romantic. So it's kind of like you know what I mean. I was just having fun, and and you say what's up, shorty. What the deal is? I seen you looking at me. I seen you looking at my gators. (laughs) (laughs) See you looking at my gators. Yes, they authentic. Gators. I killed them myself. I I, 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 I fished them straight out the bayou. (laughs) You ever been to Nixon Park? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I can can 
show you the sights, girl. She's like, no, I'm from Smyrna. Where's that? <laughs> I'm from Smyrna, Delaware. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking shit, man. Yo, I'm, I'm out of topics, man. Yeah, call it out. I don't know. That was that was one for the books though. That storyline was good. Yeah, that was that was a good storyline though. By the way, tell, Shout tell out me now. All right, let me get your advice before we get out of here, Banana, because I'm sure guys want to know. No, I want to know Banana's advice. El gordito, el gordito, el gordito flow, el gordito flow, con flow. If you're gordito, you better have some flow, man. Yeah. First of all, you have to be different than any motherfucker out there. Y enfadoso yeah. And you know what looks good, Banana? Like I know I I can see this from afar. <laughs> you know what looks good for girls? I see them looking at you when you do this. You gotta be. You know, original. cool over here, cool over here, handshake over here, handshake over here. They're like, that dude's pop. A lot of people, a, a lot of people don't got that though. So I, like, you can't, yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't, can't do that if you're not. You can't blame him. You yeah. can't blame him. But a lot of girls be like, who that, who that gordito con flow? He said, what's up to them? Then he moved to the cholos. Said, what's up to the gold, cholos? Though. Then he moved to the vaqueros. Gold, then he said, what's up to the vaqueros? Then he came back to the, you know, maybe the the, takes, the losers uh, sitting by the wall who were dancing per- and said, what's up to that? It takes personality. Tell him when he yeah, yeah, personality. You can't buy personality, man. It's like it's you can't get that in the store. Yeah. You can't order that on Amazon. Yeah. yeah. There's no one day shipping on that. Yeah, you can't do that shit. So I'm going to tell you guys straight up what I think. I What I look at myself is like, I not, and so ever since like when I was a young kid, I always try to be different than everybody else. I, I can't I remember. Be, I remember your haircuts. I can't be. <laughs> <laughs> those mess shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those days. <laughs> Yo, I actually had one of those mesh shirts. I had a white one. I had the I black had, one, Marco. I had, I had a yeah, white one. Had the black one. I had a white one. I think my Sh- my, pos, my pos might have rocked a couple of them. Yeah, but anyways, I <laughs> look they at were in the style, bro. Right? Yeah, 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 back then. You know, yeah. Talking about the mesh shirts in the summertime, showing the muscles. I didn't have the body. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the body, but you know what I'm saying. I still rocked it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you have to be different than than everybody else. If you go to a vaquero club, everybody's gonna be vaquero. So why not try to be someone that you're that, a little bit that, different. That you're different. Yeah, not yeah. someone that being you're not you're different, but still being the person. Yeah, you being are. yourself, Same but character. being different. I get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, Your own style. Yeah, I've been going to places and I'm wearing a floral shirt, and they're like, "Why are you wearing a floral shirt?" Because I have always wear floral shirts. It's being Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That that was always my thing. You go to a wedding, everybody's gonna wear a suit and their shoes. Why not change it up a little bit? Maybe wear a bow tie instead of wearing a tie because everybody else is going to go Shout wear a tie. Shout out to me. That's me last winter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or if you're going to wear sneakers like and, you, and you got a fresh fr- pair of sneakers, well, wear the fresh like the pair of sneakers child. and look different. That that, that That's what I have to say. You know what I'm saying? You go to a, a straw, uh, un pinche lugar donde hay puros fresas, be the gangster one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Be the guy. Just dress Shout out to shit. Chalillo out here, yeah. man. Yeah. Rosalio Navarrete. <laughs> Shout out to him. El galo de los guys, el que tiene los guys más poderosos de Morleón y de Yuridi ahorita. Ahorita esos giros. Acaba, de, acaba, de, acaba de mandar 27 Red Browns ahí para México para que, nomás para que digan, para que Escu- vayan y digan. Escuchate, Rafael, un vato que sabe de gallos acá, Rosalio. Y anda, y anda vestido listo para el pinche voleibol. Ahí les vamos, cabrones. Aquí andamos como quiera. Shout out oh, to Rosalio. Can, he has the best roosters. Spike. El Moraleón en el monte. Esos giros que pegan y matan a la primera pinche patada en el mero cráneo, primo. So, shout out to him. Fuert, fuerte como los hash. hash. Yo, yo, Marco. I, Rápidos I got, como los red brown. I got a mean brown. ass spike, bro. What's up? What do you mean? You I got, got a mean ass spike. Oh, oye, si yo yeah. que chis está listo, eh? Cheesy wants to rap. Give him a fucking beat and let's finish this show off. Cheesy, oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, ready yeah, or yeah. what? Cheesy, yeah, I got to beat. Yeah, no, no. Give him a hard rap because last time he said we, we gave him nah, a, a cheap the, ass little. Uh, that, that, that one oh, no. I, I told him. I, we even Cheesy talked about it. Yeah, so Cheesy about a rap. Tracy, I want you to give me that gutter shit. The mm. stuff that, you, let's say you have nothing. You have no home. You live in the outside. You get it what? wet. You have no heater. You have nothing. <laughs> Straight out the mud shit. Straight you out of the mud you shit. You in the fucking gutter, bro. Yeah. Which one's your mic, Cheesy? Say something this, right now. This one right here. Uh, let's go, Cheesy. Yeah, that's right, boy. Cheese man, dog. Uh, uh. Yo, one out the raffle. Man, I hit you hard like you got tackled. Yeah, word to my boy, word to Raph. Yo, a lot of these rappers out here, you only make me laugh. I wear my cap, got it like this, chillin' to the side 
This the type of music and beats that I just provide I got Ooh. it down on this table, dropping them fables I'm trying to get money, homie, I'm trying to get paper Yo, chilling with Nardo, man, showing the parko But I show you the cargo, jumping up to another barco uh, <laughs> Man, I tell you that I had a flex, who's next? That's why I get it down nice with this mic check uh. It's cheese, man, yeah, I live out the gutter and This is on some shit, but this is word to my mother I can get down with the funk, yo, the ship's never sunk Yeah, here, man, I just got some more rhymes in the fucking trunk oh, Woo! Man, man, I get the classic, man, I gotta do it like this It's the truth, and I just spit down like I'm in the booth And I just get down with the homies, we just drink, bitches get loose Oh, man, I'm here, and this is really drastic I'm dropping this fucking magic, and it's real I just got the skill, and it took me forever just to get like like this, and no, it's not a diss, it's Chris, and oh shit. God damn! <laughs> like I said, any, any more and you'll have to fucking pay for it, bro. I'm about to start subscription, like OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know, you I'm know, about, you know, you know. We're about to paint bananas toenails for $5.99. You ought to pay for that fetish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bitch ass motherfuckers. <laughs> say, say the last words, Nardo. Listen, tell him, Nardo. Suck it easy. Yeah. <laughs>